Hello so girls, how you doing? Let's do another bigger corner. Today is going to be, um, are they coming back? So that could be triggering, stay cool, it's just tarot. As I always say, take what resonates and leave the rest. So we're going to do a uh, usual tarot. And then we're going to have the hidden just recall and of course the healing, healing mantra. Uh, voila! <laughs> Sunday. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's have two pounds. Okay, so are they coming back? Stay cool. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Pound number one. Are they coming back? Three of wands, five of wands, the wheel of fortune. Oh my god. We wheel of fortune is coming back so it's coming out so much me. So much and coming back, yeah, because uh so many times is right there. So yeah, there is an acceleration here, there is a good luck. Uh, there is uh, something that was blocked that is going to be unblocked for sure. Good luck is on your side and as I always say, uh, good luck is not random. It's preparation meeting opportunity. And that's not me saying that, it's a definition per se of luck. Okay, so acceleration, good stuff coming your way, beautiful. So, there may have been a lot of arguments, there may have been a lot of gossipers as well around you. Hmm. Let's keep that in mind, the people talk. So don't listen to the noise, you know, and make sure that you stay away from those because it's low vibration, they might be jealous, they don't want you maybe to be happy, blah, 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 okay, all of the above. So, but it could have been as well, you guys having some heated argument, definitely, okay, so mm, the thing is you knew from the beginning that you meant to be together. Uh, there's always the, that uh, reinsurance that you are my destination. And I don't know how I'm going to get there. That is the universe doing that work, that part of it. But I know you are my destination. Maybe your person or yourself, that you were with someone else. There were maybe three people in the picture. That's a bit too busy uh, for my liking, I would say, right? Mm. And despite maybe an age gap, maybe coming from different background, different religion, different country, different continent, and maybe living at a distance till now, it doesn't matter because you are very much in the knowing we belong together regardless but the how i'm not a clue not a clue how it's going to work out so maybe that created a lot of argument because there is a knowing here but the practical way is like that hmm, not happening and maybe you wonder why on earth did I have to meet you <laughs> why I was with my person and I had to meet you why so it's a bit of that going on maybe as well so maybe within yourself you're kind of angry that's not a joyful kind of card it's a lot of anger um, disagreement and maybe um, a lot of people participating in that energy as well low vibration but beside all of this you still have a knowing hmm, whether you like it or not okay so the situation which were was blocked here because maybe there were three people in the picture or because there was argument or gossipy mm -hmm, that bingo it's going to be unblocked so for me yes they're coming back and they're coming back even better because now they comprehend why they are connecting to you what is all about they know now beautiful so let's have a um, hidden truth record let's have one <laughs> We use it every day, Excel. <laughs> I know. It's so good. All right, let's go. I am not available. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You see, there is a busyness here. Not available now. Mm -hmm. And also because even if they were not with someone else, they're not ready to open up. They're not ready to go there. It's like, it's a nice idea, but I just keep it as an idea. I don't want to do much about it. So yes, a lot of uh, tormenting energy, but are they really not available just because it's someone else or because they don't want to do the work? Maybe they're very tormented, still tormented, with or without someone else on top of it. They are really um, trying to control their feelings, their heart. They're trying desperately. It's okay. Maybe they're not ready. It's absolutely fine. If they, know they, if they say they're not available because they are not available, accept it. Listen to what they say. They're not available, fine. However, <laughs> something's going to unblock. Despite the fact that you could be together or not, this person will have to grow. Yeah, regardless. 
So they either decided to do it now or very soon, or they don't. But in my opinion, they will not stay unavailable for much longer. Mm -hmm. So yes, they're not available. Leave it there. Just continue your, your journey. Keep walking. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing you. And then you'll see. Mm, okay, let's have a look. That is, that is one is a healing mantra. Yeah. Releasing expectation. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Let it be, right? And then only the highest possibilities come to be, whether I envision them or not. Trust the universe. If you're going to have that good luck coming up, do not worry. Just detach yourself from the outcome. Mm -hmm. Know like you know like you know that you feel absolutely what you feel. But do not become codependent to your person. And let it be. Because that is going to really release a lot of things. Not just the expectation you could have about this person, but maybe the baggage that also you've been carrying yourself. Hmm? And uh, you will liberate yourself your person and maybe each other but in the meantime yes there is a bit of work um learn to not have expectation i learned that the hard way mm -hmm. but that's the best thing just focus on you do what you can do for yourself and then the person who is supposed to come and um, live with you and be with you and love you for who you are truly and don't try to change you then you know what it will happen in due time, always. I don't have a worry about that at all. Mm -hmm. So for me, yes, they're coming back. <laughs> Just to answer the question, after 300 years. <laughs> okay, and number two, are they coming back? Okay, The moon, death, S of sword. Yeah, hell yeah, of course. Um, Because the truth is coming out, whether they were trying to hide their feelings because they'd be shy or because they were hiding altogether, um, the, the romanticism side of the moon here is obvious, but also because they are ready to open up. They were not ready before, okay? So we had to go through a rebirth, so something has to end. Maybe uh, the person who was hiding their emotion or suppressing them, I would say. That person now wants to move forward. Now I understand, but I had to close this chapter of my life. I had to be there and marinate there for a while and now I can move forward and have a rebirth with you. Because, my God, we had a Ten of Swords before that Ace of Swords, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the worst is, is really behind you. That's it. You needed to go to that clarity. I know what I want and I know what I don't want. And them, of course, the same, obviously. So there is a rebirth, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. But the point is that you're going to come back together, maybe start something probably, because maybe it hasn't really started just yet, because they were not ready to open up. They were hiding their emotion, maybe out of protection. I don't want to say I love you because I'm scared if I say I love you, you might not feel the same and I don't want to embarrass myself or hurt myself. So I'm going to hide everything inside. And maybe that person has been hurt in the past so much that the only way to, to survive is to actually suppress all that pain. But how can they love someone or love themselves if they do not express those emotions? Those emotions had to be felt. That's why they're supposed to be. Just, just feel them and let them go. If you suppress them, you having like a pressure cook. Absolutely. And eventually, boom, explosion. So why don't you experience your own emotion where they are? Don't judge them. Don't judge your emotion. Your emotion, I say that to your friend, um, they are the temperature of your soul. So if you just not allow them to be, then you will never know where you're going. Okay? So express your emotion. Let them be. Something simple like that. And your person will allow themselves to find themselves and to find you again. Mm -hmm. They were not ready before because something had to be clear and very much with the moon, something has to be removed. And that is a buildup, that pressure cook of emotion that had to be clear. So now we have more space for a new beginning. Mm -hmm. And now you will come back stronger than ever. Absolutely. Or if you haven't been with that person just yet, and you had your eyes on them, know that they're following a process and then they might surprise you because this one, whoa, is very clear. 
So think, be careful what you wish for because when is gonna uh, when the person's gonna come back or come back to their senses or come back altogether, then prepare yourself because that will be really intense and quick, fast, ace or so this fast, okay? Because the mind now is in alignment with the what <laughs> with the emotions. So here you have it. When you have that, bingo. Okay, so let's have, I mean, um, hidden to I think it's very clear. You and I were too young. Yeah, maybe there was a, a moment where, yeah, he wasn't working. That's why you had to have a death, a closing of the door. It's not a proper death, obviously. It's maybe closing a door because we were too young, we were not ready, blah, 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 all of that, yeah. But then you come back because you give birth to yourself. There is a rebirth. The death card is just closing a door and opening a new one. Hmm? But that can be with the same person, but in a better position this time. Absolutely. Loving it. Okay, so let's have a healing mantra because um, hmm, they are quite good, those ones as well. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we have here? Allowing appreciation. Wonderful. And the value of my life increases each time I appreciate everything in it. Yeah. You have to be satisfied within yourself first. And that's what I mean. All the emotion that you may have built up or bottled up, I should say, just release them. Release them. So then you're free to be yourself. You don't carry a dead weight because you're giving birth to yourself as well. You know, if you're not together just yet or uh, not anymore, it's because it's, uh, there were some uh, unresolved issues on both sides. Okay, so allowing appreciation is a, maybe a appreciating yourself the way you are. Beautiful. And then let it be. Because inevitably, boom, bada, boom, right? So it's a big yes as well. On this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.